Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on how to use the public access Dropbox on the correspondence portal. In this video I will demonstrate how to create a general correspondence package and upload it into the portal. On my desktop I have a file called correspondence test folder and inside I have a route sheet that's scanned and closure one and the actual draft correspondence. So to begin first click in the region that says drop off library and if you notice on the ribbon at the top the horizontal menu appears and under the documents tab there is a new document drop down uh, select the part that has the actual arrow on it don't select the main icon because then you'll create a general correspondence by default if you want an option depending on the type of package that you plan on uploading you want to use that drop down menu and you'll see that there are five different types of correspondence that you can create okay for the purpose of this tutorial we'll use the general correspondence package select it provide a name for your correspondence a short description is optional for the SSIC use the tags that are on the right Alternatively, I could have just typed the numbers of the series. So if I type 3000, you'll notice that I receive a suggestion and you can click on that. Affiliation. Originator, since I'm using CNRFC for my test purposes, I'm going to keep, keep it as CNRFC. However, if I use the drop down menu, you can select from all the different regions and commands throughout the reserve. For the encode, you can type a value or use the smart text as well. When you're done, you're presented with a package and within this package you can upload all the documents that are necessary to begin routing. So once again, select within the region of the package. This time, instead of selecting new document where you're presented with the three different types of documents, it's easier just to click the upload document button. By doing so, you can navigate to the location of your files. And in this case, I have the folder on my desktop and I will upload the individual files. So route sheet scan first. Here on the next screen, under content type, I can tell SharePoint what type of document I'm uploading. In this case, I'm uploading a route sheet. You'll be presented with some other fields that you can also fill in. However, the majority of the fields will populate from the main package. I'll continue to do so for the remaining files. The order of your uploads are not important. Once you're done uploading all of your files, if you look to the right, you'll notice that the approval status says pending. That is because Command Services has to review your package for completion before it's approved and added to the main document tracker. This concludes the tutorial on uploading packages to the Command Services portal.